Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Crystal and thank you for joining us. And today we're gonna do something that is a teensy bit out of my comfort zone. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it is not like me to say, hey guys, let's uh, do a little swimsuit haul. But I know that like spring break is coming up. Spring, summer, they're right around the corner. I know so many places right now have ice or snow, but there's no time like the present to stock up on bathing suits, bikinis, and whatnot. So I was on the Shein website and I was like, hmm, let me go check out what they've got. So I checked out their swimsuits and a lot of them looked really nice. They looked really expensive in the photo and I was like, all right, let me order some of these because they are extremely inexpensive and let me try them on for you guys and let you see how they fit on a normal body. I am a normal woman, okay? I have rolls, I have fat, I have cellulite, I have areas that I don't love about myself, but I am learning to love every area about myself. And then I have every little imperfection because it's what makes me me. And you know what? My husband finds me incredibly sexy, so that's all that matters, I guess. Um, but no, I'm um, obviously like body positivity is so important and I'm so happy that it has been like such a big movement lately. So I figured let me step out of my comfort zone just a teensy bit and try on these bikinis, bathing suits for you guys and let you see what's up because I'm curious and I know you're probably curious like, yeah, they're inexpensive, but are they worth the price that they want you to pay are they even worth the six dollars the fourteen dollars so let's see i ordered one two three four five six seven i have seven bathing suits over here um six bikinis or six like two pieces as you want whatever and one one piece one pieces don't work for me so i only ordered one um and obviously, guys, the hair is a little bit crazy. I was like, listen, I'm going to be trying on bathing suits. The last thing I need to do is worry about fixing my hair. So you get what you get. And I'm trying to decide if I want to grow it out or cut it off. So we're in this weird stage, guys. Just work with me. You know, eventually I'll probably pop on here and have really short hair again. And we'll go through this process all over. So anyways, let's talk about the first one. Let's get the first one. Let's, let, let's go ahead and just get the first one out of the way. All right, so they come in these cute little bags um, that say bikini, and I ordered smalls and mediums. I did this because sometimes I need like a medium bottom, but a small top. I, I'm like the president of the itty bitty titty committee. So a lot of times I can do a small on top, but I need a medium bottom just because I really don't like my entire butt to hang out of my bathing suit. So. I got some smalls, I got some mediums. I wanted to kind of gauge how they fit. So this one is a medium and it is a bikini. All right, so it's this cute little two piece guy where we have like this lighter blue on top and this darker blue on the bottom. I feel like whenever I pull it up, it washes my face out completely or like I just disappear. Anyways, so here is this color and I think this is gonna look amazing with a tan. Like it's it's so bright and it's so pretty. Um, these straps are adjustable so you can lengthen them or shorten them upon your needs but it is not adjustable in this band so if it's too tight or too big you're just shit out of luck i guess so we will see how this fits and like i said i will um not like I said, like I always say, I will link everything down below for you guys in case you want to pick up a couple of these. They were all incredibly inexpensive. All right, so before we put this on, it does have cups, okay? So it is lined, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's nice because a lot of times cheaper bathing suits, they just omit the cups. They're just like, you know, whatever. I know you're gonna get wet and you might get cold. Let everybody see your nipples. Um, it is ribbed, which I feel like things that are ribbed is 
are just so hot right now everybody loves things that are ribbed and even this part is ribbed and it is quite stretchy but it's so soft like I don't feel like this is gonna like dig into you because the strap is pretty wide there looks like there's enough room in the booby area so you're not gonna be like spilling out of it even if you do have like larger boobies um yeah this feels really well made I'm actually pretty darn surprised at how well made this feels like this feels like an expensive bikini so the only thing is is it does appear to be very cheeky obviously these are going to be high waisted so these might be a little too big for me i don't know they might fit perfectly I, we'll find out in a second but they are going to be a little bit cheeky you are going to show a little bum but i feel like right now and like last year and this year it's going to be almost impossible to find bathing suits that don't show a little bit of booty um that are still trendy and cute because like the thing is to show a little bit of booty so I guess I'll be showing a little bit of booty in my backyard with my kiddos playing on slip and slide. <laughs> Anyways, let's throw this on and see how it looks. Okay, guys. So here is the first one. And I'm not going to lie. It fits really nicely. I am glad that I got this specific one in a medium because this band is a little bit tighter. Um, it feels really weird to be nearly naked on <laughs> camera right now it just feels weird um the straps I do need to like lengthen a bit they are a bit short and they are a little squishy right now but they're adjustable so that's a thumbs up obviously um they do come up pretty high on the side and they do show quite a bit of booty which I'm not going to turn around and show you because I'm not going to flash my booty at the camera but just know like there's quite a bit of cheek showing back there so we're just gonna we're gonna leave that back there where it's at but honestly it's a really nice quality like it feels nice it's comfortable um I will say like in this particular one I would size up um that's just my opinion because the top is quite tight and I normally wear a small and normally like small tops don't they're not that tight on me. Um, it is squishing out a little bit of armpit fat. That's also probably the way it's made. I don't know. I feel like, <laughs> but I do like this one. It is cute. I like the colors and it is comfortable. Like this is a comfortable bathing suit. Um, you can pull it up a little bit higher if you wanted to, if that's like the look you want. I know a lot of chicks like to really pull it up high. Um, I'm a little bit built like Spongebob. I don't have a ton of curves. So there you go. But anyways, this is the first one. So I would have to give this probably, let's see, an 8 out of 10. I would give it an 8 out of 10. Um, nothing wrong with it. Is it my favorite as far as fit? No. But that's a me thing, not a bathing suit thing. The quality feels really nice. So... I would definitely have to give this one an 8 out of 10. Alrighty, moving right along to the next one. I'm just going to reach over and grab. Okay, so we got this one. And they all come in these little bags. Which, I mean, it's a lot of bags. It's a lot of plastic. But, I mean, whatever. Alright, so this is the one piece. All right, so I got in a medium because I have a little bit longer torso, I guess abnormally long torso for my height because whenever I get anything that's like a one piece or a jumpsuit or anything that's like in a small, it's like way too short and you know, I'm not one for showing camel toe. I'm just not going to be rock, you know, rocking the camel toe. So I got this in a medium. And I really like this vibrant color. It, I'm guessing this is red. Yeah, red. I think on the website I thought it was more of like an orangish red. But anyways, so it's got cups as well. So that is nice. Um, they're placed kind of far apart though in this. Like, well I guess that's okay. But they don't fill up the entire pocket. Um where the cups are there's just like this line and they can move around in here so maybe I would suggest like 
pulling the cups out of something else that are larger and sticking them in there. They're going to be a little bit, it's going to be a little bit like cut out on the back which is cool and then you know it's gonna show a little bit of booty but I think this one's a little bit more fuller coverage in the booty area it's really really soft and it feels like really good quality surprisingly you know it feels like good quality it is also ribbed so it gives it a nice little texture and the straps are not adjustable so if they're too long they're just too long I mean I guess you could always like you know, like cut them and re-sew them if you wanted to. Um, but let's try this on and see if it looks like a complete disaster. <laughs> okay guys, so here is this one piece. And I will say, if I had gotten a small, there would be no way in hell this thing would fit. Um, it does, I can show you the booty on this one, the back on this one, it does cover the booty, woohoo! And I do like the back, the back is nice. I love the color. I will say that when I was putting it on, I don't know if you can see, there's a black mark right here. And I don't know if I accidentally sat it in lash glue, maybe, um, when I sat it on my vanity because I did get some lash glue on there earlier. So I'm going to try to get that out because I actually do like this one piece. Um, it's really good quality. It's really, really soft. It doesn't feel like the straps are going to fall off. Um, it's not too short in the torso. Like, I like the way it looks. So hopefully I can get this black stain or whatever this is. Hopefully it's just lash glue and I can get it off. But I really like it. I think this is super adorable. So I will say, like obviously with this one, I would probably size up. Um, unless you have a really short torso and then you're probably fine. Um, the cups do, they're fine on my boobies. Um, I could adjust them a bit, like they're a little over here and they could be a little bit more over here. But it does kind of help give the illusion that I have more boob than I actually do. So I'm not going to complain about that at all. And I really love the color, like I feel like the color like really pops when you have like self tanner on. Um, so I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. And the only reason I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10 is because I don't know if this black mark was already there or if I just so happened to get something on it. So, well, we'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. Like, that's how much I love this. And this is the first one piece I've ever found that I like. So that is a huge thing. So 9.5 out of 10 for sure. Okay, so we're moving on to the next thing, and this is another two-piece. The rest of these are going to be two pieces. Um, they're all just made a little bit different. All right, so this one is a nice, like, green color, and the top is a one-shoulder situation, and it's got this little tie that does absolutely nothing, but it's there, and it's cute, and then this one... This side does have a tie as well, and it ruches up the side. It just bunches it up. Um, but other than that, also serves no purpose. Um, what size did I get this in? Hold on. Small. I got this one in a small, so this is the first small I got. And I'm glad that I got this in a small because it looks a little bit bigger. It also has pads in it. Um which do come out. There is a space so you can take the pads out. A lot of times I do take the pads out of certain bathing suits um, just because I don't really love having pads in, in some. Um, it just depends. So anyways, this one looks, I don't know, hopefully it'll fit because I really like the color. The color is really, really, really nice. And then the bottoms are quite revealing. This is the back and this is the front. So as you can see, the back is very just teensy bit wider than the front. And then the sides have like strings as well, but there is no like way to rouge more than it already is. So honestly, these serve no purpose either except for being cute. It's all in the details. This one is also ribbed. Um, I don't know. I'm noticing another ribbed one over there. I don't know if ribbed bathing suits, bikinis, um, 
and so forth are just going to be really popular this year or if I just happen to really like all the ripped ones but this one is really nice and it feels really nice quality as well like I'm super surprised to be honest because these were like cheaper than ones you could pick up at Walmart and when I say ones you could pick up Walmart I'm not talking about the cheapest ones you could pick up at Walmart I'm talking about like the most like trendy ones you could find um these are definitely cheaper than the ones you would pick up at Target. I have a couple of bikinis from Target and, you know, they sell their pieces separately. These come together, um, but Target likes to sell their pieces separately. And most of the time those are like $17.99 for the top and $17.99 for the bottom, which is more expensive than you're spending on this. So let's throw this on and see, see what we think. Hello, we're back. Okay, so here is this one. Um, obviously, I think this is the only one that we have that's not high-waisted, and this one is a bit cheeky, so I'm not gonna be showing you the back of this one. I'll kind of show you the side. Like, you can see there's quite a bit of cheekiness going on. And disregard if you see any spots where I missed it with self-tanner. Um, don't come for me, okay? I've been sick and I tried. <laughs> Um, all right, so this one is definitely quite far out of my comfort zone just simply because there is nothing covering all of this and I don't really love showing my stomach, to be honest with you. I just don't. Um, I do really like this top and so the plus size, plus size, plus side is that I could find different bottoms to wear with this top. So there's always that. I actually have some leopard print bottoms that would probably look cute with this top. So I'll have to try that out and see how that looks. But I do like this one. It is good quality. It's comfortable. The top is nice and I can move around. Remember, this is a small. I can move around and I can pick up my arms and it's not gonna pop up. Boobs aren't gonna hang out of the bottom. So that is definitely a plus. I do not love the bottoms though because they are very, very cheeky. Um, it's kind of like a thong back there. Um, and I mean, the front is nice. So, I mean, if you're going on a vacation and you want to be sexier in your bathing suit or you don't mind showing a lot of your bum, then this is a plus for you because I know like to me, bathing suits that are cheeky on other women look phenomenal. I just, you know, I'm not the most comfortable and I like to wear things that I feel confident in. So, you know. Um, for personal reasons, I will give this one like a 7 out of 10 because I don't love the bottoms. But as far as how well it's made and the quality and the price and all of that, I'd say like 9 out of 10. So, there you go. Let's, let's try on the next one. Okay, moving on. Just going to grab a bag. And this one is a small and... It is the only black one that I got. I tried to refrain from just getting my normal, just like black. Um, okay, so here are the bottoms, which appear to be extremely high-waisted. And this is kind of weird. Okay, so it's only lined on half of it. The other half is not like lined. So that's really strange. And I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I can't tell what is the back and what is the front. I'm assuming the white part is the front. Like the white lined part is the front. Um, but this is extremely high waisted. Probably going to show some bum. And then the top is just like this little tube top. Which is not lined at all. Um, I might keep my strapless bra on for this one just because this is literally just like a piece of material. Um, this obviously is not something you're going to want to go swimming in. Uh, 
but honestly like living in Colorado I don't do a lot of swimming but during the summer when it's hot I spend a lot of time outside either pulling weeds or hanging out with the kids watching them play in the sprinkler or the water slide or the trampoline and a lot of times I do put on a bathing suit and just walk around outside in a bathing suit so if I get wet it's no big deal um so I don't know how I feel about this one. Honestly, this one feels um, fairly cheap compared to the other three. But I mean, out of four bathing suits, we've got the first cheap feeling one. And I mean, it's made decently. And this one may look great on, I don't know. We'll have to try it on and see. But out of the, the first four, this one does feel the cheapest. So let's throw this on and see see what we think well um i'm actually pretty darn surprised all right first of all i don't feel like my boobs are like i don't know like this is much tighter and much more fitted than I was expecting it to be. Now, this band up here is a little tight, but you don't have to worry about it falling down. Like it's there. These bottoms are extremely comfortable and I really, really like them. I like this part up here. I like how they cover, they cover the majority of the booty. Um, they are quite comfortable. And so if anything, this may not, I may not use this part the top, but I will definitely use the bottoms. The top is not bad though. Like the top is not bad at all. Um, my boobs are staying like where I put them. Um, might need to pick them up a bit. I don't know, but I don't feel like I'm going to fall out of it. I don't feel like if I jumped, like this isn't going to fly down and my boobs aren't going to pop out the top. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised. So that just goes to show like don't judge a book by its cover. Um, I don't know how they would have lined this anyways um, with how long the the top is. Um, it's almost like you have a complete one piece. Like you could almost just like da -da, show no skin. So I will have to give this one a 7 out of 10 just because the quality is not the best um the bottoms are nice i will definitely be wearing the bottoms which is a good thing about just a generic pair of black bottoms you can wear them with so many different tops um i'll probably use the top as well it's just not my favorite top it is a little bit like tight right here it is digging in but then again they don't want it to fly off of you so i don't know seven out of ten for sure though i'm actually surprised by this so move on okay next up we only have three more so we're, we're dwindling down oh yeah I'm super excited about this one I think this one is so cute all right so this is another bikini and this one is in a small and we've got this cute well, almost dropped the bottoms we've got this cute ruffly top and it's just like a tube top which is so cute and it's like elastic so it's got all these little seams i really like it it looks really well made i like the ruffles i think they're really feminine the polka dots are also feminine and it is padded and the pads look to be in a you know like a good spot i also like that you can't see the pads through like sometimes like they're poorly placed and you can see like a pad like sticking out weird which obviously makes it look cheaper, but this is so cute. I'm so excited to have this one. This one is like my favorite. And then the bottoms again are just a cute, they're made exactly like the, the, the top. This is the front, this is the back. So it's gonna show a little bit, of, it's gonna be a little cheeky. Um, it does have a little bit of a ruffle and I do think these are gonna be a little bit higher waisted. Um, at, Obviously, it seems like the trends are going to be more like muted, um, more mature colors, I would say, ribbed and high-waisted. So that just seems to be the trend that I'm seeing. Like when I, I looked through Target the other day at their swimsuits, 
Um, and they also seem to be on the same sort of trend. And I haven't looked at a ton of other places, but from what I gather, I think that's going to be what we're going to be seeing this year as far as swimsuits go. So let's throw this on and see how it looks. Okay, so I'm kind of sad. This is the one I was most excited about, and I just feel like <laughs> it looks the worst. Yeah, the worst on me. Definitely. Um, <laughs> like, the top is super cute. Um, I love the top. I don't love the way the bottoms look. I don't know. There's something about it that looks very, very, like, immature and, like, little girl um, to me. I guess it's the ruffle at the top. Like, I almost think if it had been high-waisted and had the ruffle, like maybe a bigger ruffle, it would look a little bit more grown up. But with it being so low and then this tiny little baby ruffle, I don't know, it kind of looks like a little girl's bottom to me. Um, so, this one is definitely like my least favorite, which is kind of funny because it was my the one I was most excited about. And the black one, when once I opened it, I was like, eh and then that one turned out to not be bad but this one I'm just like yeah it's not my favorite um it's not bad it's not made poorly um it's just not my favorite on me um I'm gonna give the top oh excuse me I'm gonna give the top a 10 out of 10 but I'm gonna give the bottoms a 7 out of 10 or a 6 out of 10 I've got the hiccups <laughs> sorry I'm trying to fight them back that's why I'm talking weird so the top I love the bottom not so much I'm trying to figure out if there's a way I could get away with wearing this top as like a top, like with jeans or something. But anyway, so those are my thoughts. Take them with a grain of salt. All right, so moving on to the second to last. All right, this is second to last. Hopefully we're leaving a good one for last. You know, I hate to end on a, on a sour note. But all right, so. We've got, I'm really excited about this one too, okay? Because I really like how the top looks like a little cropped tank top tied in a knot. This one's padded as well, guys. I'm like really surprised. I'm, I'm actually kind of like speechless by the quality of these bathing suits. Like, I'm, I'm pretty surprised. This one is also padded. And yeah, what size did I get this in? I got this one in a small as well, um, which I'm glad I did because this looks a little bit larger and you know, you don't want it to be too big, you know, you want it to actually fit. So this one is super cute. I love this top. This is gonna be a really, it's trendy, it's cute, but this is something that like if I went on vacation, if I was playing with the kids in the pool, like I'm not gonna have to worry about my son accidentally like ripping a boob out of my bathing suit or something and if you're a mom especially a mom of a boy or multiple boys first of all god bless you but second of all you know what i'm talking about they can be rough and tumble and crazy and they do not care if they jump on you and rip a boob out of your clothes in the middle of public they don't care so i really really like that really excited to try that on and then the bottoms are not my favorite because they are so showy but they're these pineapple bottoms and they are nice and these actually seem to be the ones the bottoms with the most booty coverage and again high-waisted and it does drape a bit right here so that could either be a blessing or a curse it could either make me look like i have a gut or it could hide any imperfections and so you know if you eat a hot dog or a burger in your bathing suit and you're feeling a little bit full, you know, this might cover that up. So let's throw this bad boy on. Okay, so we found the best one. Like, there is no, this is 100% a mom bikini, okay? You cannot convince me otherwise. It's a 10 out of 10. The entire thing is a 10 out of 10. The top is amazing. The bottoms are amazing. They cover the majority of the booty. Okay, so that is nice. This ruched or this bunched up part 
works perfectly. It does not make you look like you have a gut. It, it, it like works perfectly. Like it looks so good. I love the pattern on the bottom and then the plane on the top. I need to adjust the cups a little bit. They're kind of like, they've kind of moved themselves out here as opposed to being on my boobs, but that's a very easily fixed issue. Um, so if it looks like my boobs are wonky, that's why. Um, but I love this top. It's comfortable. Remember, this was a size small, so it's comfortable. It fits nicely. I don't feel like I'm going to fly out of it. It feels like I have on, honestly, it feels like I have on nothing up top, but next to that, it's just like wearing a tank top and going about your day. I love this one. This one is hands down a 10 out of 10. There is nothing else to say about it. I love it, and if you're going to get any of them, this one and if this one is not available any of them made like this would probably be great as well um i may have to look and see um if they have any more that are like this style because this is just phenomenal i'm in love with this one i can't wait for it to get warm so i can wear it and if you're at the beach or you're on vacay or anything like that, you can always throw on a pair of jeans and have this on. And it just looks like you have on a tank top. So two thumbs up for this one. I love it. Last, certainly not least, here we go. All right, this one is also small. So it appears that I only got two in a medium and the rest were in smalls, but I was going by like size guides and like looking at reviews and stuff like that. So that did determine like kind of what size I thought I needed. So I don't know. This was, you know, no rhyme or reason to my ordering. All right. So this one is just like a tank top style top or like a sports bra type top which I'm not gonna lie when I was younger I used to always like I would be on the hunt for like a sports bra top or like a top that looked like a tank top tied up and it's so crazy because I could never find those when I was like in high school because it wasn't a thing yet but it you know now it is so like I'm living all of my fantasies from back then straps are not adjustable so if they're too long or they're too short you're screwed but, you know, they are nice. It is this nice pink color and then it has like this nude color around it. I think this one will look really nice with the tan as well. And this is a bathing suit top that you can throw a pair of jean shorts on with it. And, you know, if you're on vacation or anything like that, you can still be presentable and not feel super exposed like you would in like a string bikini or something like that. So I do enjoy that aspect of this. So if I'm in my backyard and I want to like, you know, pull weeds or pick up dog poo or whatever, play with the dogs, I can throw this on with a pair of shorts if I want to and no big deal. Um, and then here are the bottoms. Oh wait, these actually seem like they're going to cover some booty as well. I will say that this nude band at the top does feel a little tight. Have you ever had a pair of leggings where the band at the top just seemed like it was just like so tight and there was no give, there was no stretch and they kind of dig in? This kind of feels like it might do that. I do not know. We will have to see when we try them on. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that. This is another ribbed set and it is padded so awesome that is out of seven bathing suits only one was not padded and only one was like a cheaper quality and honestly it might have been the cheapest one I got I don't know I don't recall each price off the top of my head but I am really excited to try this on so let's throw it on and see what we think and then we'll be able to wrap up this video Okay, so here is this last bathing suit. I do like this one. Even though the bottoms look like granny panties. <laughs> they do look like granny panties, but here's the deal. If you are someone that is like active at the beach, you're playing volleyball, you are swimming at the pool, you're diving in, you're jumping in, you're playing with your kids, then this is going to be good for you because there's... It's very comfortable, but it's secure, you know, and it's cute. It does cover the full bum. 
okay? So we have a full booty covered. Um, just as I suspected, this band at the top is a little bit tighter. Um, I don't really mind. Um, the same with this one. It is like, you know, a little bit tighter, but it's going to help it stay secure. Um, yeah, I like this one. I like the color. I like everything about it. It's actually really comfortable and it's really cute. And I like how this just looks like a sports bra. It just kind of looks like and feels like you're chilling in a really comfortable sports bra. So I would have to give this one a 10 out of 10. So if you can get past the fact that you're wearing granny panties, um, then it's definitely like a must have. I like it and honestly like as long as you're comfortable in it, you're confident in it, that's all that matters. So 10 out of 10 for this one. All right, guys, so that has been the Shein Swimsuit Try-On Haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, you know, like, obviously now we know, like, you can get really good quality from Shein. And I know it's hit or miss. I know that I seem to really get lucky when it comes to Shein clothing. Like, I, I've seen, like, videos of hauls people have done. And they're like, oh, this is complete crap. And this is, like, terribly made. And then, like... I've done a couple of Shein hauls and then like this one and I'm like, well, I got lucky. These are pretty good. These are good quality. These look nice. They fit nice. They are true to size. Like, so it just goes to show you, you kind of have to look like I spend a lot of time on their website. I go through the website quite like with a fine tooth comb and a really easy way to shop with them is to go through and heart everything you like narrow that down and then go through all of your favorited items and then really look through like read the reviews see what you think like really look at the picture see how it fits does the picture look fake stuff like that and then go through those and say okay this seems like it's probably pretty good product the price is decent and if this isn't the best quality i won't be mad for buying this at the price that I'm paying. You get what I'm saying? So anyways, sorry for the wild tangent. I hope this video has been, <laughs> I hope this video has been helpful. What the hell is wrong with me? I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. I hope you learned something and let me know if you pick up any of these bathing suits or if you have any Shein swimsuits that you really love, uh, drop it in the comments down below. Also, let me know if there's anything you want to see, any places you want me to order from or anything you want me to try out for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Hit that thumbs up so I know you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it. Hit that bell so you're notified next time I upload and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you.